Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today we have an amazing unboxing to do for you guys. It's Great Wall by Awaken Realms. This is not just the base game, but also Stretch Goals, the Black Powder Expansion, Ancient Beasts, and a Gaijin surprise box? What is all that? So that I, uh, I, I kind of pledged uh, big for this game, and so this is everything that showed up in a very, very, very large box. I did kind of take it out of the, the big Awaken Realms box. If you've ever backed an Awaken Realms game before, you know they come in a very large uh, Awaken Realms box, and so it's always very, very exciting when you see an Awaken Realms box. This is the same folks that brought to you games like Lords of Hellas and Nemesis and Tainted Grail and Aether Fields and uh, many, many more. Uh, Awaken Realms is like one of those companies that when they put a new game on uh, on, on GameFound, it's almost like an Insta back from me. So, uh, so I had to pick up Great Wall, and this is supposedly a, a Euro game, but that also has miniatures. Well, you could go with the miniatures version or the non-miniatures version. I certainly went with the miniatures version. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open and uh, we'll take a look at each of these boxes. All right, so I figure we'll start with the base game. It's uh, usually the best place to start. And uh, a lot of times I'll, I'll play only the base game for a little while before I even crack into the stretch goals and expansions and stuff just to get a good feel for the base game. And I think it helps you appreciate the rest of the game more. So we've got a rule book here. Um, doesn't look super thick. Um, we've got a lot of writing though, so while it may not be super thick, it does look super dense with rules. This is one of those game, uh, one of those games that there's a lot of learn to play uh, videos out already on some uh, Awaken Realms. Uh, hooked some people up with early access copies, not me this time. I was lucky with uh, some things like Lords of Hellas and Nemesis to get early copies, but but not this one. Maybe maybe in the future. Um, we have uh, some little player aids, and these are going to be dashboards to keep some things hidden. We've got a game board here. Uh, I did not go for the the other game board, the, the Playmat game board, um, largely because, well, I've got so many game boards. And uh, this does actually fit pretty well in the box. I can't get the whole thing in the shot here, but it's definitely a worker placement game, right? You've got a lot of areas to place workers, doing all that Euro stuff. I don't have that many euro games in my collection i'll be honest with you i am uh i'm not a heavy euro uh gamer but i do enjoy a good euro once in a while and i figured that's why i kind of went with this because it's like it's got minis and it would be a good euro to add to my collection so uh, we have the silica gel do not eat that um we've got a whole bunch of cardboard here we're gonna have all kinds of tokens um this is one of the things that i was kind of on the fence with this game about it's got a lot of pieces that you build a lot of sections to the wall and I guess the big question for something like this is, what am I going to do in between games? Am I going to break down every single one of these cardboard structures and put it back in the box? Or am I going to keep them assembled, but like if that's the case, you need almost your own bookshelf for all of this stuff. And so I have no idea how I'm going to store this. We'll look at these trays. <gasps> My goodness, Awaken Realms knocking it out of the park right here with these trays. Oh, look at that. The Great Wall. Dun, 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 dun. I just made that tune up. You guys can use that for free. All right, so we'll look at this dude. Look at these miniatures, man. I did not get the pre-painted versions, um, which is okay. You know, I, like I, they just kind of pre-shade them, really. Um, these are really good minis, dude. Look at that. That's really good. Is they, these like are they, I don't even know the the clans and stuff. Like, are they turtle clan? It looks like they got turtle shell on them i love it looks really good this is they've, they've improved i mean and they've always had good minis but man this is these are really good look at that detail look at the detail in the turtle shell what is this is this is really excellent quality miniatures oh my goodness i'm very impressed very impressed. Look at, look at this. Oh, look at the guy on a horse. He's like, yo, I'm on a horse. <laughs> no, no, if, I, if I whistle the Old Spice song, I'm going to get like uh, a, a copyright takedown or something, so I better not. But, all right. Um, very, very. Oh, look at the detailing on his outfit and, the, and his armor and then his mask. And look at the, the cloak. Really, really great miniatures here, dude. 
Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I was a little, I was a little unsure about this one, but now I'm a believer. Oh man, we got red and blue. Oh, look, I love this blue. This is a, a like a, a, just an interesting shade of blue. It's not like, it's not too bright. It's not too soft. It's, uh, it's almost like a, a cross between a regular blue and a turquoise. It's, uh, it's a really, really attractive blue. I like this color. And man, these minis are gorgeous. And we've got these little dudes. This is, this is, I think, I think these are like the workers that you place from what I've seen. The scholars or something like that. So they go and they, then, then you get your, your guys who go on the wall, your archers or your, or your, uh, your foot soldiers kind of. Dude, really, really groovy. Let's take a look at the archers down here. Unleash the archers. One of my favorite bands right now, by the way. Love Unleash the Archers. Anyway, all right, let's look at the red players. And now this is uh, something that a lot of board games will do, but I like that you know you, a lot of your crowdfunded games will do this. Instead of just everybody having the same color, you also have unique sculpts for your player. Uh, this is something that they did in Rising Sun, one of my all-time favorite games also. Um, so, very fun. Oh, man. Look at that guy. Really groovy. All right, um, that is about everything from in here. Oh, we got a whole nother, whole nother tray. Again, this is an important thing because look, look at the storage mechanism. This is going to really help uh, aid your your setup and, and tear down time. Um, we've got a, a tray in here with oh, and this is removable, and you have a a, a cup so you can put your appetizers and hors d'oeuvres and stuff in there. You put some dip in there. You put like some buffalo cheese dip or maybe maybe some fondue. In there, so we've got um, all of our different resources, and these are nice uh, little plasticky resources. I'm not gonna rip those open right now, but they're definitely like little little uh, little acrylics and some woods and some gems. So we've got all of those right there. We've got all of these cards. I don't think I'm gonna open up all the card packs right now, but really cool art on all of the different characters. Um, oh, look at these. These are these. I think these are the bad things that happen. Um, and this is, uh, from what I understand, this is basically a, a semi-co-op. Um, you are going to all be trying to, you know, help defend China and help defend the wall. Look at all the great art on these cards, man. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be a really fun one to, uh, to learn. I think it's going to take me a while to learn, though. I think it's going to be one of the heavier games in my collection. Uh, and uh, that can be intimidating, you know. If, if, if how many of you guys have heavy games that like you were just like, oh, I was kind of afraid to dive into that one. That's how I feel right now. I'll have to take my time with it. And there's no rush, you know. There's absolutely no rush. I have some games that I play only like once a year, uh, and 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 that's fine because they still have great value. All right, let's let's check out some of the other boxes. All right, so next we're gonna look up the stretch goals box. Now this one is a little thinner. It's not quite as thick as the core box, which is kind of what you expect. Of course, we got our silica gel in there. Definitely do not eat silica gel. We've got our rule book for all the different little modules that are gonna come in the stretch goals. And like a lot of other games, this is gonna have a fifth player expansion, which is always nice to add. And then a couple of other little modules like a rat and a Genghis Khan and some other stuff like that. So let's take a look at the orange player. I like this because this is definitely reminding me of rising, uh, rising sun, in that I believe the the extra player you got through uh, stretch goals, and that one was also an orange player, which is really cool. Um, again, just 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 great looking miniatures, just really really great looking. I oh let's see the archers, psst, psst, psst. very cool. All right, and we've got uh, we've got some. Oh, some bad dudes. Mm -hmm. Some monsters, I guess, sir. Is this Genghis Khan? I think that's Genghis. Very cool. We got some, oh, some also another piece. And uh, we have one of these for each of the uh, clans. I forget what everything is, I'll be honest with you. This was one I, I backed so long ago, I've kind of forgotten a lot about it. Oh, we got a, this is the rat. You dirty rat. Ooh. How many of you guys remember the Ninja Turtles? All right, is that, oh, we got, oh, nope, no, that's it. That's it for in that one. I thought it was so tall. I thought there was going to be something else in there, but that's just room for, 
room for the uh, rest. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the next expansion. All right, next up, it is the Black Powder expansion. This one is in uh, bringing in some like gunpowder and siege weaponry and, and things like that. We've got a little rule book for it. You can keep these all together. I love the little look of these boxes too, because um, I was just, just thinking about how they're gonna look on the shelf, you know, because so many boxes, so few games are white. Um, and uh, so it's gonna add some cool color to that game wall that some people have. We got more, more uh, things to put together with the cardboard structures. Not my favorite part of this game, but I guess I can always just collapse them and put them back down if, uh, if storage does become an issue. I guess that's my only complaint about this game is like, how am I gonna store this once I build out all the stuff? I guess that's a good problem to have, but that's my worry, right? Is it going to be that great that I want to play it all the time and then I have to figure out how to, you know, how to store the stuff in between games? That's like, that's like the best problem you could have. Oh, so each clan has their own, look, they got like a little turtle tank. It's a turtle tank. The Ninja Turtles are going to love that. Oh my goodness. We've got, um, we've got a, uh, a, 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 a catapult here. Um, that one looks a little, a little bent. This one's straighter. There we go. A uh, hot water trick will definitely do the trick if that one's a little bent. We've got, uh, oh, look at this, like a dragon cannon. Dragon cannon. Harm the dragon cannons. Arm the ballista. Which I think that's what that is, right? Well, oh, maybe that's this one. Oh, whoa, this. Oh, that's cool. This is cool stuff. Very cool stuff. We've got, oh, we got ladders. Right, I'm thinking like Siege of Helm's Deep, right? Um, and then we've got we've got like I guess people who are like siege specialists for each of the different colors in here. Like that guy, like he's on bamboo, dude. That is this is really cool, really cool. All right, we've got another expansion to take a look at. It's going to be the uh, Ancient Beasts expansion. All right, the Ancient Beasts expansion is the smallest of the uh, the main boxes, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get it open. There we go. All right, this one is not going to mesh as well with everything else in there, but it's a small box. Oh, we got oh we got four little monsters, four ferocious monsters. Look at all right. We're gonna start with this guy. Oh, it's a dragon winged winged dragon. Very cool. We got. Uh, Let's see here, this is uh, maybe a, a cockatrice, maybe. We've got, um, I don't know what this is, a turtle snake? A snake eating a turtle? I don't know if that's supposed to be like a chimera throwback or, or what. Um, and then, uh, wait, a, a two-tailed, I don't know, a cat, a two-tailed cat. Um, I'm sure they have other names. Oops, they all their names and stuff are gonna be in the card pack. We got all the cards to to run these guys as well as their special rule book. Um, next thing we're gonna look at is this surprise box. So if you don't want to, or if you want to be surprised and you have it coming, I have no idea what's in here. My guess is it's probably something for um, the next game. It looks almost like a cyberpunk style game. So maybe it'll be something for that. Let's let's see. Spoiler warning: If you don't want to see what's in here. Uh, it definitely reminds me of Cyberpunk. And oh my gosh, I love Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077, my favorite game of 2020, 2021. What year, whatever year. This, this, my favorite game since the pandemic is Cyberpunk 2077. So, let's see what's in here. All right, let's see. Now, in the past, they've done stuff like this. It's usually like a, a little something for the base game and then something else for the next Kickstarter. Oh, it's, a, it's an art book and a coin. All right, all right. And anything else? There's something else in there. Something else? Oh, oh, an, an envelope. Open here. All right, hold on. I've got to cut this thing open. Gaijinthegame.com. Oh, this is. Uh, I'm gonna have to go check out Gaijin the Game. See, this is why I should do my unboxings before I film them. But but we're doing it live is like so much more interesting because I have no idea what's gonna be in here. And all right, I want to see this art, man. I'm a big cyberpunk fan. This looks like it's right up that alley. So, um, makes me want to listen to my samurai soundtrack again. All right, let's see what we've got here. And, and then, like, I guess my question is, is this a board game? Oh man, this is dark. There's people hanging from the, from the, from the roof there. 
Gaijin is a cyberpunk adventure board game with a post-apocalyptic vibe. One to four players will struggle to survive and pursue their agendas in two worlds at the same time. The physical one, filled with deadly machines and merciless human survivors, and the virtual one, prowled by tracking software and vicious viruses. Some game scenarios will require cooperation between players. Some will lead to an open conflict. But most of the time, players will try to achieve their own goals, interacting with others only when they need to, to exploit their weaknesses or to make a short, uneasy alliance. Players will find new implants and augment their bodies in real world and gain new knowledge and insight while exploring the cybernetic realm. However, suppose they spend too much time in one of them. In that case, they'll be endangered in the other. It's easy to track a motionless body based off its cybernetic location, and if players don't work on their firewalls, they're susceptible to AI attacks. Oh, okay, all right. That was like... It's like a whole infomercial. Oh, there's a little history, a little bit of lore in here. Man, this looks cool. This looks really cool. Gosh, I you know, I like I'm I'm running out of room for games, but like I think this is gonna have to be another back from me. Alright? I don't know. Awaken Realms, if you're watching this, send me this game. I'd love to like cover it. Look at this, look at this thing. Awaken Realms, come on, hook me up. We're friends, right? Come on, hook, hook a dude up. I've backed so many of your Kickstarters without you even having to like send them to me. I just give you free advertising. You want free advertising for this thing too? Like, like, dude, this looks great. Yeah, this looks dark. Oh, I love it. I love it. This looks so groovy. Very cool. All right. Um, so we have a coin here too. I'm not sure if this coin is... Uh, related to Gaijin, but we also have something for the Great Wall. Um, oh, and this is just a thank you. It's a thank you letter from Awakened Realms. So, very cool. Yeah, the, and this was not a game that was provided to me. This is one that I backed, you know, so everyone, I, I usually always let you know, well, I always let you guys know if, if something has been provided to me, if they sent it out to me for me to review, or if it's something that I um, actually backed, and this was one I, I backed and picked up, and, uh, Really, really excited about Gaijin. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. I am hopefully going to be bringing you guys some coverage of this game whenever this shows up. This looks freaking amazing. Um, so let's, uh, you know, let's let's stay subscribed. Check out uh, this in the future. And, um, you know, I, again, any of my giveaways, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment in order to enter to win. So it's as simple as that. Um, check out some of the links we have down in the description below. And uh, that's about all I've got. I want to thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys help make this channel possible. And I will talk to you guys soon. And always remember, when firing giant cannons into a wall, make sure you're standing behind the cannon before it fires. Have a great day.